Isa sa mga problema ang kinaharap ng mga students ngayon ay yung gabundok o dami ng mga school requirements na dapat nilang matapos o masubmit sa takdang oras. At ang ilan, they fail to submit on time or hindi nila nagagawa ng maayos ang kanilang mga requirements or gawain sa nihin ng iba't ibang kadahilanan. Yung ilan, hindi nila nauunawaan or hindi nila alam kung paano simulan or gawin ang isang requirement. Yung ilan naman, sa dami ng gagawin, na overwhelm sila. At kapag nangyari yon they end up procrastinating. Procrastinating, ito yung instance na, na pinagpapaliban mong gawin or tapusin ang isang requirement kasi sa tingin mo, malayo pa naman ang deadline. Yung iba, sinasabing, malayo pa naman ang deadline, so simula, tapusin ko na lang to a week or a day before the deadline. At kapag malapit na yung deadline, they end up cramming. At kapag nagka-cram ka, ibig sabihin nun, minamadali mong tapusin or gawin lahat ng requirements mo on time para mabit yung deadline. Which, nasasacrifice ngayon yung content, yung quality ng performance or ng activity mo. Kasi nga, you are no longer thinking about your answers, but you are now focused on finishing the task in a given time para mabit yung deadline. Kaya nasa sacrifice ngayon yung content, yung quality ng mga sagot or responses mo sa mga activities or requirements mo. And to avoid that, here are tips na makakatulong sa'yo to manage your time, to reduce your stress, and also to improve your productivity. And I know you're ready. Let's begin. What's going on guys? This is Sir Kial and welcome to your online student guide. And if you are new to my channel, I am Sir Kial and I'm currently a senior high school teacher. So, let's begin with the tips. Pero bago ang mga tips, let's accept the fact na madami kang subjects. At most, you have 6, 8, or 9 subjects. And naturally, in each of these subjects requires activities, performance, and the like. Ang dami nilang nire-require. Yung ilan nagbibigay ng madali o madaling requirements, yung ilan naman masyadong madami at masyadong mahihirap. And we cannot change that facts, but we can change how you behave, how you perceive these requirements para hindi ka ma-stress, para hindi ka na-overwhelm. And for you to manage all these requirements, let's begin with number one, follow subject schedule. Nung nag-enroll ka, I believe meron silang binigay na schedule sa'yo. Like, in English, 8 to 9. Um, the other subject, what that would be 10 to 11. And, para matapos mo or masimulan mong basahin, you need to follow these schedules. Okay? Kasi, by following these schedules, it will help you now to finish the requirements in each subject. Pero, kung wala ka namang oras kasi nagtatrabaho ka, tumutunong ka sa bukid, or you have to do a lot of household chores na hindi mo masusunod ang, ang schedule na yan, you can change or you can, you can reschedule it. Like, gawin mo yung mga requirements mo or simulang mong basahin yung module mo sa gabi na kung saan may oras ka. Or kung feeling mo mas nakakapag-focus ka sa gabi or sa madaling araw, you need to set the schedule. For example, at 8 p.m., ito dapat ang matapos ko or I will start my English subject. At 10 p.m., I will do my history subject. You are looking forward in doing these requirements in a given time frame. Your, it will also help you organize your subjects. Sa tingin mo, unahin mo itong subject na to kasi mas madali siya. Unahin mo yung pinakamahirap para doon mo ibuhos lahat ng lahat ng oras mo, I mean, lahat ng effort mo para yung iba, uh, mas madali mo nalang matapos the next day. Number two, you need to set the goal. Weekly goal or daily goal. Yung goal setting kasi ma mahalaga siya. Paano? Ito yung magbibigay sa'yo ng direction na at the end of the day, dapat matapos mo yung subject na to or at the end of the week, dapat makagawa ako ng requirements ng kahit at least three of my subjects. So, by doing these small goals, you are now meeting or you are giving yourself the chance to attain a broader or a wider goal. Remember, your bigger goal, I suppose, is for you to finish that semester with a flying colors or with good grades. Since that is your long-term goal, doing this or setting your small steps or small goals will help you attain that. Remember, paano ka magkakaroon? ng flying colors or ng good grades after the same. So, 
Anong gagawin mo? You need to set goals. Paano? So, kailangan the activities, the responses, the answers na nilalagay mo sa bawat requirements, sa bawat activity, binibigay mo yung best mo. Okay? Pero paano mo magagawa yung mga best mo na yun kung nagkakram ka palagi? Nagpropro procrastinate ka palagi. So, definitely, malayo mong maatain yung long-term goal mo na or bigger goal mo na to have good grades after the same. Number three, this is also very important, set a regular break. Kapag sinimulan mong basahin or kapag sinimulan mong gawin ang isang requirement, dapat marunong kang mag-set ng break. Okay, i-break mo yung time. For example, nag-start mong basahin or gawin yung activity ng eight. Okay, so by 8.30, dapat magpahinga ka naman, maybe for 5 to 10 minutes to refresh your mind. Kasi kapag pinepressure mo yung sarili mo na matapos sa isang oras yung isang gawain, most likely ang nangyayari, ini-stress mo ang sarili mo. At para maiwasan yan, gawin mo muna yung mga bagay na nagpapasaya sa'yo. But avoid electronic distractions. Ibig sabihin, dapat hindi mo hawakan yung phone mo like you you should avoid browsing your social media accounts or um playing online games kasi nakaka-distract ang mga ito mamaya pag may nakita kang interesting sa Facebook or sa Instagram or maybe on YouTube or kapag na-enjoy mo nang maglaro ng ML hindi mo alam kinain na pala nitong which is against your daily or weekly goal Remember, ang goal mo matapos or makatapos ng isang activity or ng isang requirement in a day or in a week. Instead of being distracted with electronic devices, pwede ka namang magwalis-walis muna sa bahay nyo or maglinis-linis ka muna sa bahay nyo, maghugas ka, or tignan mo muna yung tanim ng nanay mo, baka may nagnaka o ganun. Because these activities will relax your brain. Okay? So remember, in my previous topics, I have mentioned to you na yung brain natin, kailangan din naman ng time to absorb, to process the learnings that we have read or that we have just assimilated or accumulated. So, gamit ang tatlong bagay na sinare ko sa'yo kanina, mas naunawaan natin ang kahalagahan ng time management sa yung distance learning. And we also have realized na time management is not you controlling the time, which we cannot control time. Instead, you are controlling yourself by managing your time wisely. Before I end this vlog, let's have a quick recap. The first one, you need to follow a certain schedule. If you, Number two, you need to set weekly goals or daily goals and a bigger goal or long-term goal. Number three, if you are going to start doing your requirements or your module, you need to make sure to break your time. Dapat magkaroon ka ng me time or ng relax time. If you find this vlog helpful, you are free to share this for other students to know. And, and I hope you like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so I'll see you next time. Take care.